Does 10 equal negative 10? Of course not. Am I able to turn a positive 10 into a negative 10? Yes. Only if I make a mathematical mistake. Let me show you how to turn a 10 into a negative 10 and see if you could catch my mistake. First, we'll start with the 10 and then set it equal square root of 100. So far, so good, I hope. And then I'm going to change that square root of 100 into square root of negative 25 times negative 4. Since negative 25 times negative 4 is positive 100. Next, I'm going to change this into negative square root of negative 25 times square root of negative 4, two separate square roots. Now that I have a negative number inside the square root, I need to go ahead and take that negative sign outside, turn it into an i. So we have square root of 25 left. Same thing, we'll take that negative sign outside, change it into an i, and we have square root of 4 left. Where this will turn into i times 5 times i times 2. And i times i is i squared. And 5 times 2 is 10. And of course, i squared is negative 1 and 10. And negative 1 times 10 is negative 10. There you have it, folks. We started with a positive 10, and we ended up with the negative 10. So somewhere along the line, I made a mistake on purpose. Where do you think the mistake happened? Do you think it happened here at point A or B, C, D, E, F, G, or H? Go ahead and hit that pause button for a sec. Now, in the comments, go ahead and type in where you think the mistake happened. It happened in one place. Go ahead and put your answer in the comments. Hit that play button again. Watch my answer. So where do you think the mistake happened? I hope you put answer choice C. When you have square root of two negative numbers multiplied like this, you cannot split it into two separate square roots. I know. If you're given square root of 36, you could split that into square root of 9 times 4, which is square root of 9 times square root of 4, 3 times 2, or 6. And that's the reason why square root of 36 is 6. However, when the numbers inside the square roots, when both of them are negative, you have to go ahead and do what's inside the square root first following the order of operation. If you're not clear on that, let me show you a different way. What if you had negative 25 times negative 4 all to the half power? If I were to take the half power and apply it to the negative 25 and the negative 4, it would become negative 25 to the half power times negative 4 to the half power, which is the same thing as what I did here. And with this, I would again, end up with negative 10, which is what we don't want. What we need to do instead is, given negative 25 times negative 4 all to the half power, following the order of operation, we need to take care of what's inside the parentheses first, or change that into 100, and then take the half power, which equals positive 10. So, I hope this was entertaining as well as educational. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe.